Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the concept of risk-based testing. So basically, what is risk-based testing, guys? So whenever you are, what is the risk, first of all? So whenever you are expecting some outcome, and if you are getting something bad outcomes, or, or if you are losing something, so that concept is nothing but a risk, right? Yes. So risk-based testing is mainly used to avoid these risks and all those things, guys. So risk-based testing will be performing in these step of flow, you can say. So firstly, you will be identifying the risk. Okay, then you will be analyzing it. So basically, whether it is at least useful to resolve it or you can just omit it in that way. So we will analyze it. So once you analyze it, it risk explorer using migrations. Okay, using mitigation. So basically by doing some small, small changes, you will try to resolve it. Okay, then you will check the test policies. You will plan it, you will execute it and you will be giving the final test result. Whether to change some kind of things or whether to follow it like that. Okay, yes okay so we are also having some advantages guys so you can just go through them so they are really easy you can say right yes and the last topic of this testing methodologies is database testing so basically in databases also it's really important to test all the things right yes okay so in relational databases these are the common testing so which we will be taking place that is nothing but integrity testing so we'll be checking whether a entity is a properly designed like it might be with respect to primary key or column key or uh, domain integrity or user defined integrity or okay yes or referential integrity so basically any kind of relation which we are trying to mention we always check them that whether they are giving properly so assume that you gave a, a thing to primary key okay and without giving okay so assume that you gave a primary key and a foreign key so in this situation any entry which is having primary key only for that you can create a foreign key entry right yes so it the quite opposite way will not work so in this way you need to cross check them again so even you might give them properly there could be some errors or issues manual error it might be also software error it might be so that is the reason why always you need to cross check those these also right yes so I hope everyone got some basic idea. So in the next lecture, let us go through one of the most important topic that is a seven step testing process guys. Okay. Yes. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.